Trey, congratulations. What was the call like uh, that you got from the Bengals just now? I mean, it's a great call, you know. Um, basically, you know, from here with my family, you know, just a great moment to be here. You have experience at uh, both center and guard. Is there a position that you feel more comfortable at? No, sir. Whichever one, you know, the coach put me at. I'm ready to go. Trey, you're uh, coming from a football competitive conference, the SEC. Talk about how that prepared you to come to this next level of the NFL. Uh, just basically, you know, me putting in the work each and every day uh, as an SEC guard or center. Uh, you know, playing against guys at Georgia, even in practice, I thought I think those the you know top of the line guys, and that's something I played against each and every day, and that's what you're gonna have in the league. Thank you, Trey. You tried to play through some some injury last year. Obviously, opted to shut it down. How how are you doing now? And and how hard was that for you? Because it's it seems like you tried to fight through that for a chunk of time. Oh yeah, I'm back at 100. percent You know, I got my surgery, did what I did. And, you know, I'm back ready to go. Uh, I mean, it wasn't, it was a hard time, you know, getting through it because of my first surgery ever, you know, first time doing, uh, doing things like that. But other than that, you know, we good. Trey, did you know that the Bengals had an interest in you? And have you, uh, obviously you probably spoken with Coach Pollock by now, but if, did, did you speak to Coach Pollock or anybody from the Bengals before the draft? Yes, sir, I did. I, I talked to them like two or three times before the draft. You're from uh, Warner Robins. A lot of guys from the NFL come out of Warner Robins. Uh, any family members related to you been in the league before? Uh, I don't think so. I know a couple people from Warner Robins that's in the league, but uh, not family member wise. What do you What do you think makes uh, it such a great or fertile ground for the NFL? Can you repeat that again? Yeah, what do you think makes Warner Robins such a fertile ground for producing NFL players? Um, just the people that, you know, uh, just the homegrown down here. I mean, you know, it's different down here. You go, I mean, you show what you can do from when you're five years old to, you know, when you've grown up 21 or however old you get when you get to the NFL. So things like that, you know, it's just different down here. What was the, what was the gap between you and From at Houston County? With, uh, a year apart. Okay. Is it Houston? Do y'all pronounce it Houston out there? Yeah, Houston County. Oh, all right. <laughs> Any more questions for Trey? You know, I guess before the knee injuries, how do you feel like your uh, your your year was going along and, and kind of what what were you happiest with with, with what you did in 2020? I'm happy with everything I did in 2020. You know, I thought it was God plan that the knee injuries happened and they did what they did. But you know, I don't question God and is I'm, I'm back on track. Trey, I know there are a lot of Bengals fans out there focused on the offensive line. Uh, what, what would you say to them about what they're they're getting in you um, as a player that they'll be watching on Sundays? A smart, intelligent, physical guy. Someone that's going to get us in the right calls, send our guard, and, you know, going to make it do what it do, on and off the field. Did you go up against Tyler Shelvin? Uh, at LSU, I mean, he's coming to the Bengals, and what are your thoughts about him? Uh, he's a big, strong, tough guy. I mean, yeah, uh, we all get well with us getting him. Also, you know, he's a great player, and, you know, going against him, he was top-notch competition uh, my sophomore year. So, you know, we had that relationship of going against each other. Thank you. Do you like playing the center position where, like you said, you make some, you make some calls, you're kind of the quarterback? the offensive line. Do you like that part of the game, taking control of the game based on what's going on up front? Yes, sir, most definitely. I mean, I mean, put it in my hands. I feel like I can do anything with it and get us in the right thing anytime, any place, anywhere. So.